Well, hey guys, uh, Pastor Steve here. Just wanted to share a brief meditation with you today. You know, in these uh, crazy times that we live in, a lot of people wonder what um, what the Messiah is praying for you as he intercedes uh, for you in heaven. Well, I wanted to share a prayer that the Messiah did pray for you. Um, and I've been meditating on this. It's in John chapter 17. And I wanted to read a few of these verses here for you. Um, I'm going to read verse 1 uh, down through verse 5. John 17. Jesus spoke these things, looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your sons so that the Son may glorify you. For you have given him authority over all flesh, so he may give eternal life to all you have given to him. This is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and the one you have sent, Jesus Christ. I have glorified you on earth by completing the work you gave me to do. Now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you before the world existed. Now, the context of John 17 here is the Last Supper. As a matter of fact, this prayer is the last thing that the Messiah says before leaving the Last Supper and going out into the Mount of Olives, uh, where he is uh, then betrayed and taken into custody um, and then shortly um, beaten and killed. So this is, the, this is his prayer for his, his disciples, and then it extends, he extends it to you and I. But the beginning of this prayer is extremely powerful when he, he, says, he says, The hour has come, uh, Father, the hour has come, glorify your sons so that the Son might glorify you. So he's asking for the Son to be glorified so that the Father may be, glor- may be glorified. And he says, You have given him over authority over all flesh so that he may give eternal life to all you have given to him. So the Father and the Son glorify each other and the Son is given authority over giving eternal life. And then he goes on to describe eternal life. He said, this is eternal life, the definition of eternal life. You ready for this? That they may know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ that you have sent. This definition of eternal life for me has been mind-blowing and extremely encouraging because eternal life starts the moment that you know and believe in Christ as your Messiah and as your Lord and Savior. So uh, eternal life is, uh, is an arrow, is a, is a two-sided arrow going in both directions. There is no beginning, no end. Once your soul has been guaranteed to be with God for all eternity, there is no end to that. And so eternal life, that which we are all desirous of, um, whether we're in Christ or out of Christ, is, is already granted um, So anyway, that is eternal life. And then he says, I have glorified you on earth by completing the work you gave me to do. You see, Christ not only died for you, he lived for you. And at this point, he had completed the work that God had called him to do on this earth. So he had glorified the Father by doing all that the Father had asked of him. And he was about to finish all that the Father had asked of him. And then he says, now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory that I had with you before the world existed. So he asks for God to bring back the glory that he gave up before going, before coming to this earth. So the, uh, just the, the, the picture here is incredible of the glory of the Father and the Son and the definition of eternal life. And uh, just such an encouraging meditation. I hope this is a blessing and a, and a, a strengthening in your walk today. But I hope you have a great day in the Lord. God bless you. Go in peace.